<laughs> Hello. This is the film community manager. All right. Hi, so who are you? Uh, hi, my name is Josh <laughs> Robertson. Um, welcome to the Kodak studio here at CES. Is that a 4K uh, camera? It is not a 4K camera. This, what are you looking at here? This is the LCD, but what you, this actually is, is this is a Super 8 analog camera that takes our Super 8 cartridge. So you're shooting on film. It's a fully manual analog camera with a few digital features to it. Um, analog one of, with digital. Analog with digital. So some of the uh, digital features on this camera is you will have a LCD viewfinder. So you won't have an optical viewfinder like you've normally looked through a Super 8 camera in the past. What you'll be using is the viewfinder, this digital LCD screen. So you'll be able to see what is in frame before you start exposing but you your film. you don't see the same as what's recorded, no? No, you do. You you're getting you, you, oh yeah, you're getting your image from uh, the the gl ground glass that's you know behind the shutter. So you're getting exactly what you're going to be exposing onto your film plane. Uh, besides having the digital LCD screen or digital viewfinder, what we also have on here is you are able to plug in a external microphone and record sound onto an SD card. Whoa! So if you want, you can plug in an external microphone, record sound and then use it to sync and post with whatever editing software of your choice. So not only kind of those are the two main digital features, one of the other cool features on this camera is this actually is C-mount lens. So you are actually able to take this lens off and put on a different lens of your choice. This is not the lens that will come on the camera, but this is a lens that we have that, you know, to display that you can actually interchangeable lenses with this Super 8 film so analog camera. So how many uh, people are still using Super 8? You know what, we have a huge community of people who are using Super 8. Uh, we, about a year and a half ago, through a Super 8 contest, within a month's time, we had around 600 people alone enter that contest. Um, and it was only open for a month. Um, there's, what, what's the history of Super 8? There's did a, it come out first day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kodak introduced Super 8 in 1965 at the New York's World Fair. They actually announced it in 1964 and then unrolled it in 1965. A part of its Instamatic line, which was pretty much having film that was inside of a plastic cartridge that made it really easy for the everyday modern consumer at that time this to shoot them. This exact shape is from that time? It, yep, this cartridge we've been manufacturing in upstate New York and Rochester since 1965. So, you know, this car, not only will this camera take our cartridges that we've been making since then, but all of these cartridges will fit into any Super 8 camera that's out there in the world that's been manufactured at some point. And all these have never included sound, right? So, you know, at one point, Super 8 did include sound. It had a uh, magnetic strip inserted into the actual film. So you were recording sound at that point, and then it kind of got rid of that. Right. Um, you know, it was just one of those things at the time the filmmakers didn't really need it because um, they could do sync sound with a different device. So, hey guys. Um, so, you know, at this point in time, you are able to record sound onto the SD card in the back, but it is a fully analog camera just with some digital features. And why do people use Super 8? Does it give a, what's a kind of like, a, is it something that feels like a 1080 or does it feel like a 4K? What does it feel like, so, what does it feel you like? You know, the, the film plane on this camera, on this type of film actually isn't that large, but at the same time, you can actually scan this footage in at, you know, you know, a 4 and 5K resolution, even bigger. If you look, whoa, whoa, caught that's good, it. That's good. Um, so this is the size of the film. So this size film plane can be scanned in up to, if not larger, than 4 and 5K. You have a machine for scanning, I guess. We don't have a machine for scanning, but there are, are labs in existence in the world that will do the scanning for you. How much you. it cost? So a, a cartridge to get scanned, it also just depends on what type of resolution you get, but you're looking anywhere, you know, close to the hundred dollar range to get your film transferred and you know scanned and transferred all right so I guess people who want this look they will be happy with this product when is it available, is uh, it available so this already? limited edition uh, colorway this limited model that has the uh, you know perforated top handle and perforated pistol grip this will be coming out in the spring and it's going to retail for two thousand dollars we will have a standard edition which is a black uh, a, a black colorway and a white colorway that will follow that and it will be cheaper than the limited edition version that will be out in spring. Nice, and just a little review of all the other stuff you were showing at the booth. What yeah, stuff? we have a various different imaging products. We have a brand new smartphone that has come out, um, sort of a camera first, phone second device. Um, we have some other imaging products on the other side of the booth, things that you can plug your phone into and start printing photos straight off your phone. 
We have some really nice paper products where you're able to print your stuff out. Let's, let's grab our new cameras. Uh, the what? A phone, the phone oh, one. Yeah, come over here. It's, Can you it's, talk uh, about that one? They're all tethered, but. Yeah. Um, let's grab them. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, be good. Let me so grab this one of those. Oh, yeah. Phone, can you, camera. Can you, can you talk about this? Um, How does it work? Or what are these guys? It's an Android device, uh, but as you can kind of tell by its sleek design, it is a camera first, phone second device. So it has a really nice lens up front. So many people talk about the cameras uh, and their phones, and they're pretty terrible, no? All of them. Well, not this one. Not, I mean, not this one. Not so this how is this quality? Oh, sorry, can I go on this? Yeah. So how's the quality on this one? It's a 20 megapixel sen 21 megapixel sensor. 21 megapixel. You can see yeah. these are these are photos blown up with. These are sample shots. No, these were all taken with Actra. So it's a good sensor. What kind of uh, how big is the sensor? How does it work? Can you talk about the details? So 21 20 mega megapixel Sony sensor. Touch touch focus point. Anywhere you touch, facial recognition, all the good stuff you'd expect. Optical image stabilization. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. You have OIS right here, a whole bunch of stuff. It's the quality compared to Kodak. Ooh, that's very cool.